how is it going guys Linux Daily back with another video today's video is pros and cons of elementary OS elementary OS is a Ubuntu based distribution I did a video about it previously a top 5 video but this is my pros and cons it seems to be a pretty popular operating system nowadays now let's start with pro number one and that is it is stable it is Ubuntu based like I said earlier I'm gonna go show you guys here in the about section of the settings elementary OS 041 Loki at the time of this video is the stable version of the operating system they have an elementary OS 5 but it is in beta I believe it is not the uh, the stable release quite yet but this one's built on Ubuntu 1604 long-term support so you're gonna keep getting updates for a long term that's what pretty much what it means I'm running this on a live ISO I did not install it to the system well just for this video just like I did the Manjaro video that's how I'm gonna do this one pro number two is very easy to use everything's laid out quite nice it looks really similar to a Mac kind of feel system settings is laid out really nice everything's all in its location where it should be the app center right here is laid out it could not fetch updates it's probably because it's running on a live live image so I'm gonna ignore that but everything's laid out into these different different tiles it looks like you manage your updates here so you get some the text I'm running in a virtual box so gives me that I think that's a yeah that's a driver yeah the virtual box guest edition is pretty much what that is I believe but I'm not gonna install it because I'm gonna get rid of the virtual machine as soon as I'm done with the video everything's laid out quite nice you have two different options here I have it set to the, the nice organization but it comes default like this everything's all laid out in a really unorganized manner so that's that I would probably keep it like this where it's organized in the different sections like the rest of the operating system and yeah that is pro number two pro number three it is there's not a lot of pre-installed applications it's quite nice a lot of distributions have way too many programs installed by default but already I showed you up here there's not that many pre-installed gparted does not come pre-installed that is just in the live image and that's what it uses the partition the disks when you do install it or if you install it that's what it uses the partition but those are the th uh, the three pros of this video now we move on to cons elementary OS is nice but there also comes with some cons first off being it is not very customizable now if we go up here click desktop the only thing you really can do by like default elementary is uh, change the background pretty much only you get quite a few to choose from you would have to install elementary OS tweaks to do pretty much anything else so that's the that's the first con it's not really customizable con number two is the default browser is really bad epiphany I've never really had too much luck with it so let's just go to YouTube it's kinda of buggy it never really works too well it, it loaded kinda of quick that time but every time I tried it gets really slow freezes because I used to run this distro on one of my main computers and I've never really had any luck with it I installed Firefox instead of Epiphany and I removed that that one so that's con number two now con number three is the where the uh, maximize minimizing close uh, buttons are so if you open up settings there is um maximize all the way over here there is no minimize button 
or like the clothes buttons all it just doesn't make any sense how they have it laid out either put them all over here or put them on that side on the left or right but like split them out like that and no minimize button so you have to go down here to click and it doesn't really look like you could even tell which one's open down there so that just is probably picky for me but I don't like it at all where it is currently located now granted you can install online show as tweaks and move them yourself within there it adds a little um a little option like under here I think actually got tweaks and you can move it around I'm not gonna install it in this video that's my top five video so that is a quick video on the pros and cons of elementary OS pro number one it is stable Ubuntu based pro number two it is very easy to use how it's all laid out organization wise and all that pro number three and there's not a whole lot of pre-installed applications or bloatware those are the pros the cons are it's not customizable at all the default browser is really bad and the position of the maximize and close button and the lack of a minimize button so I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Now, um, if you watched my my Bioshock Infinite streams on Saturday, how the mouse was really, really shaky, I resolved the issue, so that should be clear for the next stream on Saturday. Hope you enjoyed.